It's no secret that some of the biggest rappers in the game are gang affiliated, with most being with either the Bloods or Crips. Here's the breakdown of which of your favorite artists prefer to flash red or blue. Young M.A. Katora Marrero came into the rap scene in 2014 under the stage name Young M.A., which stands for Me Always, and as her name says, she's never shied away from being herself. When she came onto the rap scene in 2014, she learned about the same kind of things the boys in the industry were. Sex, violence, and money. As a female rapper, she made waves with Brooklyn Chirac because people were apparently not okay with the woman rapping about negative things in the world. Luckily, the controversy pushed her into fame. But she's not just talking a big game. This girl is affiliated with the Brooklyn set of the Bloods, so she probably has some first-hand experience with the topics of her raps. Pop Smoke Pop Smoke was taken from the world in February of 2020 at the young age of 20, but not before he could make a big impression on the rap world. Another Brooklyn native, Pop started his musical career in 2018 after dropping out of school. To make ends meet before making it big, he spent time as a drug dealer on the streets and two years on house arrest for weapons charges. Like others who dropped out of school, Pop Smoke found a family in the streets and joined up with the Crips in Brooklyn. But when he found fame in music, he started telling kids to not get into gangs and to avoid all the drama of the streets. 6 9 One of the most infamous rappers at the moment, Takashi 6 9 is no stranger to making a scene. Sporting the notorious rainbow hairstyle and a face full of tattoos, this young rapper was recently released from prison due to health concerns. But it was his first stint in prison that saw him join up with the gang. While in Rikers for illegal drug activities, 6 9 started associating with the Blood Street Gang through a prison clique called the Nine Trey Gangsters. He was only in for a short while because as we all know by now, he snitched on other members to get a shorter sentence for a few of his own crimes. He spilled all their secrets, names, and activities, and then decided he didn't want any part of it anymore. Lil Loaded Lil Loaded is pretty new on the rap scene, so not much is known about him. But we thought he deserved a mention on this list because he's been pretty open about his affiliation with the gang. He's talked about how his hit song Gang Unit speaks to those who are caught up in the gang lifestyle. Something he knows a lot about since he's a member of the Rolling 60s, a notorious LA street gang that made its way to his hometown of Dallas, Texas. He's pretty loyal to the group, which is a set of the Crips. Trippy Red At only 21 years old, Trippy has made a name for himself with hit songs like Love Scars and Dark Knight Dumbo, but it's probably his never-ending feuds with Takashi 6 9 that have brought him even more to the forefront of the hip-hop scene. Along with some arguments on Twitter, Trippy has also been exposed by the rainbow-headed rapper as being a gang member when he was snitching on the witness stand. He claimed that Red was part of the 5'9 Brims, a rival blood set. The rapper didn't deny those allegations, but he also hasn't made it publicly known that he's affiliated. But you know, he goes by Red, so we can only assume. Tay K Best known for his 2018 hit, The Race, Tay K is one of the most notorious rappers in the world at the moment, thanks to the nationwide search for him when he went on the run after some pretty bad crimes. But before he was charged with four counts of aggravated robbery and two counts of capital murder, he was Taymor McIntyre of Long Beach, California, a regular kid attending high school in Texas. And even though his Crips reppin' father wanted his kid to live a better life, the fact that both of Tay's parents were active Crips members meant that he didn't really stand a chance. While the crimes that got him locked up weren't directly gang related, his activity in the gang probably didn't help much. Lil Key Growing up in Atlanta, Georgia, as the sixth of seven children, Rakeed Render, now better known as Lil Keed, started taking rap seriously in 2016 with the support of his parents and siblings. In between shifts at Subway and McDonald's, he'd head to a nearby studio to record music with his younger brother. But even though he had a pretty healthy home life, the draw of the streets is strong. And Lil Keed soon started expressing interest in the gang life and joined up with the Bloods. Blueface with a name like Blueface, we're pretty sure you can guess who this rapper is affiliated with. Crips, obviously. Add in his 2018 single, Respect My Crippin', and you've got a heavy-handed confession of his loyalty to the gang. He grew up in Santa Clarita, California with his mother before moving to Oakland to live with his father. And before he was gangbanging with the other blues, he was playing the saxophone with the marching band and playing as starting quarterback with the football team. And he was pretty good at both of those. But at some point, he hooked up with the schoolyard Crip Street Gang and never really let go of that loyalty. 
rapping about it every chance he got in singles and albums, like Famous Crip, Bobby Schmurder. At just 25 years old, Bobby Schmurder has already got a pretty hefty criminal record, including charges of conspiracy to murder, weapons possession, and reckless endangerment. He's currently locked up, but is looking at a release for December 2020. With even more charges while he was a teen, he's got some serious street cred, which probably helps him out as the ringleader of a criminal gang called GS9, a group that is known for its violence and drug activity. The group is a subset of the Crips, and Schmurder is so involved that he has reportedly gotten into Bloods vs Crips fights in prison. Lil Wayne There have always been rumors that Lil Wayne has been a gang member, but even though he has been active in the music industry since 1995, when he was barely a teenager, not much was known about his specific gang affiliation for a long time. When the video was released online in 2014 that shows an alleged Crips member confronting Lil Wayne, people started assuming he was in fact in a gang, and probably the Bloods. And it turns out they were right. A couple of years later, an interviewer with Dateline started asking questions about drug use, so he just came out with the red bandana from his pocket and said he was connected to this flag right here. I'm connected. I'm a gangbanger. I'm connected. So yeah, the rumors were right. He's a blood. NLE Choppa NLE Choppa is most known for his breakout single, Shot of Flow, which eventually went platinum. And as one of the youngest rappers in the game today, the 17-year-old has made a big impact with his unique musical style that is described as melodic and heavy hitting. We don't know much about his gang affiliation, but he has stated that most of his friends are Crips, and it's widely understood that he does have close ties to the infamous gang. Roddy Rich Born Roderick Wayne Moore Jr. in Compton, California in 1998, Roddy was familiar with the dog-eat-dog -dog world of the rough streets. He also spent time in Atlanta and Louisiana while he was growing up, but even getting out of the old neighborhood for a couple months of the year wasn't enough to keep Roddy away from the dangers of the street. At a fairly young age, he began associating with the Crip Gang in Compton. He blames a lot of desperation to find a group on the religion that his mother instilled in him. As a Christian, she was pushy and critical. Years later, Rich would comment that a lot of the fellow inmates he met in prison also joined gangs as a way of escaping religion. 